<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> okay, we're going to edit this and put it at the beginning, actually. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Council Interviews. Uh, today, I have a very special guest, Tyler Rodriguez, aka with Spaces. Um, he's a digital uh, media artist and a designer, and he likes to make art on his computer. And he's known for his 2140 uh, collection on Cardano. Well, welcome, Tyler. What's up? Uh, nothing much. Just another day uh, in the CNFT space, I guess. Yeah. It's always interesting. So. Yeah, yeah. You just had a show yesterday, right? Or a few days ago. Yeah. The, the news. We do like a, a NFT news show every week, uh, me and a couple other people, um, which is really cool to like go over all the things that are going on in the space yeah yeah so it's it's, it's really cool and also like what you do i mean it's like it's such a great energy and it takes like i mean it takes like one hour two hours right and it's it's uh it's, well, it's the so, show there's, or, yeah there's so much to talk about it, i mean it's, it's always been like, like in the past couple of shows it's been like three hours each show yeah which is crazy <laughs> we, we tried to stick to one hour at the at the beginning but it's, it's too much going on it's hard to yeah, but I mean, but the space is growing. So like there's, I yeah. think there's things to talk about. I mean, there's like a drop every day. Like tonight there's one yeah. drop. I, I know, uh, I'm not going to show anything, but uh, <laughs> it's like every night there's another one. So cool. Um, so Tyler, who are you? Like, where do you come from? Tell us more about yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, from the US, uh, the East Coast of the US. Um, and I've always been into like making I've always been into art and technology and stuff. Um, I went to school for, I majored in architecture, um, minored in graphic design. Um, so that, with architecture, like that line between technology and art uh, is like really prevalent. And I feel like that's kind of what got me into the NFT space because it also merges the two really well. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting because there's a lot of architects in the in the nft space I, I don't know why i mean there's like i, I guess it's yeah connected i know it. cgi sort of like you have to do these mock-ups I, I don't know yeah yeah I don't, I don't even know i think the it is it's like that technology and art i think they like come together and it really yeah. like attracts people who are into architecture i think it is yeah. really interesting though because it seems like every other day it's like someone else um but, but you stayed away from that path of like traditional architecture and we went into digital art more right yeah, yeah uh, i mean it kind of i've always like done more art on the side and stuff um mm -hmm. so it kind of like fell into place with all the nft stuff um That's cool. like just being able to put it out um but yeah i was kind of even even though i was into architecture i was kind of hoping to like get work with like a studio or something just to because i am really into like 3d modeling yeah yeah that's cool that's cool. Yeah. So let, let's talk about your art and like what you like to do or what, you know, you, I've seen your stuff, of course, but for the viewers who haven't spent much time in the CNFT space. Uh, yeah, so I like to, I like to really create um, art. I'm really into like 3D modeling, as I said, uh, and like doing like photorealistic uh, images. Um, but I also, like incorporating like a story into things in a way like rather than just making something that looks cool um mm -hmm. i'd rather have something that looks cool and has like a bit of a story behind it i guess mm -hmm. um yeah. just because it, it creates more it's more like substance i think uh like gives more to to look at and to like take in and stuff i think that's that's interesting in terms of like you know curation as well like how you know, we have artists who have reached out to us and they were like, okay, this is pretty, you know, but you know, for, for you, like, is that enough? Or do you want to see like something that's more like, okay, this is like, it has a story. They has a, this has some substance, substance to it. Yeah. yeah. Sort of. I mean, I guess I maybe am not necessarily looking for story because I know some artists like aren't always like some artists don't go that way um, where they just go for like beauty um, over story. Um, I, I think what I plan on looking for the most is like, um, like unique, like individuality, um, like uniqueness and, uh, I know these are probably like simple answers, but like creativity too. Cause I, I know a lot of people, um, that are like super creative, but they aren't getting like the views that 
they should be getting um yeah. and it'd be really cool to like give try to spread the like give those people um a platform too um, definitely i mean that's what what our channel is about right like we want to give yeah. a platform for new artists and there's a ch actually in the chat like yesterday there was a big um not a big discussion but like a discussion about you know is artano too too like high-end or too restrictive and my answer is no like i mean our goal is actually to grow a new generation of artists who grow up with NFTs, you know, mm -hmm. and who have this technology from the beginning of their career and they, they can use it to earn a living. I mean, that's that's how this all started, this whole thing. And not just people, you know, in the US or Europe, but everywhere. And yeah. anybody who has access to the internet and, you know, can open a wallet. <laughs> um, so we talk about curation a bit, but like what are important things to you, you know, when you see a profile or how, how do we make it less biased? Because that's also a question we get a lot. Or if you- uh, if Like you less biased as like, uh, as a curator? Or... Yeah, yeah. So we are a bit centralized now. And I think people are worried about this 20 people who we chose as the core team. And we're really open about it. We don't want to- Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, how do we get less bias, you know, in the council? Or you? I mean, to, to be fair, I, I I feel like, like, cause we've done those. I don't know if people know, but we've done like those, um, like tests where we would look at artist, like artist profiles and stuff. And, I mean, I I really didn't see too much bias, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah. Cause I, I think it feels like everyone on the council right now is like under has the same mindset as like we're trying to grow this, and it it may not necessarily need art that we enjoy personally it's like art that we think art that i don't know it's hard to word i don't want to word it the yeah. wrong way yeah um, has potential <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it has potential or yeah definitely yeah uh yeah we were talking about curation and bias you know like on the council oh. and like how people can improve their skills so um yeah, like if, if there's like a way to to do that, I don't know, like, and we don't want to be exclusive. And like, I was also applying to platforms on Ethereum and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I had the same experience. Like it was too high end or too exclusive. And then some people, you know, they're not even artists and they're deciding. So for me, it was like, okay, artists yeah. need to decide. They need to own this. Definitely, um, which I think that I, I'm pretty sure that the platforms I applied to, it like wasn't a council similar to Artana. It was like a, it, I'm not really sure how rareable works, but I, I think it I, not rareable. Um, super rare. Super rare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where it's yeah. not. I, I don't think it's a council of artists. It's just like people. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's strange. I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. <laughs> but yeah, but they have a council too. They have a curation token as well. Um, but we'll see. I mean, who wins? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kidding. No, uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, but so so we didn't talk about one important thing, which is your 2140 uh, collection. Um, <laughs> what's that about? Yeah, so um, 2140 is uh, like my main project. Uh, it's like a story based NFT collection. Um, so each it's basically released in chapters and then each chapter is broken up into um, different framed sets. Yep. Um, and essentially uh, each frame set is an animation that continues or tells more of the story. Um, but those animations are actually released as the individual frames. Um, it's kind of a lot maybe to unpack there. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, it's essentially, it, it takes place in the year 2140 on um, the last year of Bitcoin was mined. Uh, and it mm -hmm. follows my little robot character, Rodrigo. Um, and not too much is the first, we dropped the first, um, well, I, I dropped the first uh, um, frame set like a couple weeks ago. Um, mm -hmm. So on to the next one now. So. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I loved RTA. I mean, it's always going to be in my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was my favorite little robot from the first auction. Um, I'm actually planning planning some more for the next one. Oh, ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> RTA has some friends. Okay, that's a, that's a drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top secret, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I didn't know. So that's really cool. Um, all right. Uh, I think um, one last question. I, I don't know if you can answer if you want to answer, but like, what do you see the CNFT? Like, where do you see CNFT space going? I think it's a lot of like uh, programmable stuff. Like it's like generative. It is pixel stuff. It's very 
I would say rough on the edges um, right now. But what do you yeah. see it like? You know, I mean, Ethereum is really polished. Uh, yeah, true. I'm. I think I really do think that Cardano, a lot of Cardano, or the artists on Cardano are polished too. It's just that these other projects, for some reason, are getting the the light right now. Mm -hmm. Um, like, I I truly believe. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that it, it just makes so much sense for Artana, for Cardano to be the main NFT platform, uh, just because of all the benefits it has over at least Ethereum, which is the primary one right now, yeah. as everyone knows. Um, but there really are like a, like so many talented artists like in the Cardano yeah. space, like as we see like on the council, um, but also like in the rest of the space too. Yeah. Uh, so I I really do, I really do see Cardano and Artano, like Artano being a big influence on that, becoming the major um, NFT blockchain just because of those um, because of the yeah. advantages it has, but and also because of the artists that are on here. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I think that the the way Cardano works, like it just brings a lot of these artists that are here more for the art um, than to make money. I think at least right now, um, mm -hmm. with how early things are, that's uh, true. and I, yeah, I think that's like the biggest benefit that Cardano has, um, at least in October of 2020. I don't know what the future is going to be, but I do think it's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, I I, I hope so. I mean, I, I, I really hope so because there's a lot of talent out there and there's also a lot of talent to be onboarded onto the blockchain space. And um, what we're trying is to actually, you know, reach out to the actual like traditional galleries and like bring them mm -hmm. into the space so that they become a bit more aware of decentralization and like the whole uh, ethos of, of Cardano. Um, yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, I agree with you. There's a lot of talent, and I'm, I can't wait also to see them on the next drop on on yeah, Artano, uh, which is yeah coming soon. Um, and let's see. I mean, let's see how it goes. I really hope there's a lot of success for all of them and us in the space. Mm -hmm. So I think that concludes our little interview. <laughs> Can I ask you an interview question? Sure, sure. When are we, when are we gonna see some uh, Matteo NFTs? hit the scene <laughs> anytime soon my I, my mom is in the other room i, <laughs> I locked her up in the other room and she was like oh when are you gonna finish these and i'm like well um <laughs> i don't know yeah, i true. mean There's the paintings a... are here in the room they're in serbia but uh and i want to finish that and it's 25 uh, paintings that are like one meter that's like it's like it's i mean it's not huge but it's big and mm -hmm. uh they're gonna be done but i don't know when i need i need time i guess to true just, yeah there it's technical though like my paintings are very minimalistic so it's like a lot of like measuring stuff and um mm -hmm. yeah but yeah we'll see soon soon hopefully i don't know oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> cool Exciting. okay thank you that was tyler um and uh with spaces uh we are done with our little interview uh i'll see you around next up is Domagoy from Croatia. So stay tuned. And yeah, thank you, Tyler. Yeah, thank you too. Okay, see you next time. See you guys.